everyone, welcome back to Royal Fashion News. My name is Brittany and today we are talking about the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan to Rajwa. She is a from Saudi Arabia and so they had this gorgeous, amazing, amazing wedding. It was on par to a certain extent, I felt like with Catherine and Williams in terms of just the grandeur within Jordan. Obviously it didn't get quite as much press attention around the world, but we saw a bunch of ladies in amazing tiaras and dresses. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Of course, guys, the first thing we have to talk about is the bride herself. Yes, Rajwa graduated with a degree in architecture. And so her dress is, you could say almost a reflection of that, a smidge. It's very, very grand. And it's, it's got an interesting and unique neckline. I just am not sure that I love it. So I loved it getting out of the car. I just thought it was fabulous and amazing. And I think the veil and the train was just excellent. I think it worked really, really well. But I'm just not sure about the front because there's, I feel like there, there's something missing. We need maybe a smidge more. And I, I actually like the neckline. I think that adds some additional dimension to the look. I think it is very sleek and sophisticated, but I do have this thing where I just don't like the fact that on her dress, actually, the train is somewhat separate. So she could wear that dress separately, so the, the more slim dress. And perhaps that helps with simple things like going to the restroom. But at the same time, I'm like, uh, I just don't quite like that. I'm not I'm just not a big fan of that personally. I don't like that half and half out. And I think it would've, I, I would have appreciated it more if she wore the slimmer dress without the train at the banquet later in the evening. But she didn't, we'll get to her banquet dress. But I did think it was absolutely gorgeous. And she also wore a new tiara. So this was one purchased for her. The Jordanians are not really known for having a huge, huge collection. Most of their, their pieces have been purchased somewhat recently. And so there's actually though an Arabic phrase on her tiara. And it says, hope from God or slash Allah. So you can see it in these close-up pictures here, just the little detailing in the Arabic saying on the back, it is a reminder and reflection of her mother-in-law's Reynez tiara that has God is great, I believe it is, in Arabic script on her tiara. It's called the Arabic scroll tiara. I actually really, really like that piece. I think it's, it's really pretty and just very unique and interesting. But you'll notice throughout Jordan that a lot of the pieces that they have or most of the ones that we see in terms of the tiaras are fairly recent purchases. Even her sister-in-law and Princess Amman who got married a couple months ago in March, she got a new tiara and I imagine her sister Princess Salma will get a new one as well and perhaps even Hussein's younger brother Hashem when he gets married, his wife will perhaps get her own tiara as well. This just helps too if you don't have enough to go around that everybody has one for those special occasions. So I did think overall she looked beautiful but again, ugh, I was expecting a bit more and I was a little bit disappointed, but the train was marvelous. The veil was marvelous. I did like the neckline. I just didn't like the half dress thing and just other aspects of it. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more detailing. So bejeweled or something like that, not bejeweled in like multicolors, but you know, white bejeweled or, or intricate, intricate lace or something like that. So we got a little bit of that in her veil, but not too much. And so on to her reception dress. And so I feel like this was a bit of a surprise as well for me because I was not expecting to have her second dress also be so grand. It is a Dolce & Gabbana piece and I should have mentioned before her wedding dress was actually a custom piece by Ellie Saab, which is a designer from Lebanon. So I, I think we were expecting something perhaps a little bit more, I almost wish somewhat that she had switched her her wedding dress with her banquet dress. Uh, this one, I just feel like it's a little too much. It's just a little too much. It's gorgeous, she looks gorgeous, but it feels like a lot. The train is massive. I think I would have been more okay with it if the train wasn't quite so large, because what is she gonna do with that? The problem with having a large train like that is that you need two people, like in this video, to help you move it, or more. So that makes it more cumbersome to get around, so I, I 
would have thought, I think it would have been cool if she could have taken the train off of her wedding dress and just worn the slim dress other, underneath. I think that would have been super cool. And just a brief shout out to her mom right here. Her mom wore this lilac piece. Uh, I don't know who the designer is, but I think she looks lovely. I think lilac is her color. I think she looks gorgeous. So hats off to Rajwa's mom. And it seemed like she wore the same outfit throughout the day. So great to her. And then we also have just this really brief shout out right here, just because I really liked it. Is this shirt dress and skirt combo that said this one woman wore? I just think that's really pretty. So on to the mother of the groom. So this is Queen Rania of Jordan, and she wore for greeting the guests at the ceremony. She wore a Dior piece, and I think her Dior piece looks great. It is black with gold detailing, and I know a lot of people were like, what, she can't wear black. I don't know exactly the customs in the Middle East when it comes to weddings. Apparently red is a very popular color to use. Sometimes even wedding dresses are red. So I don't think anything of her wearing black and with gold detailing here, I think nothing of it. I don't think anybody else should think anything of it either. And later in the day, she wore for the banquet, she wore an Ellie Saab piece and she wore her Arabic scroll tiara. I think she looks gorgeous here. I think this is a great look. Very understated yet elegant. And so Rania just has impeccable taste most of the time. So I really love most things she wears and I think that's absolutely fabulous. And I think she looked great throughout the day. All right, so the first royal guest I think everybody was super excited about was Prince William and Catherine, the Princess of Wales. We weren't sure if they were gonna show. And then we got indications like right before the wedding the night before that yes, they had arrived in Jordan. I figured Catherine and William would attend because Catherine grew up in Jordan and they made a family trip there back in 2021. And I figured because of that, that would be a close connection. It seemed like they had developed close bonds with the Jordanian royal family. And I feel like Catherine and William, because they bring so much attention, that they pick and choose their events delicately. That's why I think Sophie and Edward go a lot. Catherine and William, so much attention goes on them that the other people at the event, which is actually for, get lost somewhat in the process. But I felt like for this one, because Catherine and William had those close bonds that they would attend, and they did, Catherine wore this Ellie Saab dress from I believe runway in the 2016, 2017. So this could be a piece that she's actually worn to a private event at some sort. I do think it's lovely. I love the intricateness of it. I love how she, again, is always diplomatically dressing. This is a Middle Eastern designer. I like it and, and yet I don't at the same time. I, I think it's beautiful. I love the color. I especially love those earrings that she has. I think they're gorgeous. And I love how it flows. It flows beautifully. But it also looks just a smidge busy. I know that's part of the design there, but I do think it's very, very elegant. I think it works well for her and I think it was the perfect choice for this ceremony and then they chatted with the bride and groom afterwards and William gave Hussein a big hug which I thought was really really sweet so I think they looked actually very very put together and elegant yesterday and then we had the evening banquet and Catherine wore one of her favorite designers Jenny Packham and she wore basically some people were calling it beige I consider it pink version of the green dress that she has from Pakistan. Crown Princess Mary also has the same dress. Now maybe the, the design details in some aspects are different between the green and the pink, but they're pretty much the same. So I consider them mostly the same dress. I think she looks fantastic here. I love that this is the first time we've seen her in the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot tiara with her hair down. I think the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot just really, really works on Catherine. I'm not a fan of the Lotus on her. I wasn't really a fan of her wedding tiara, but oh gosh, the Queen Mary's lover's not she rocks that piece she really really does and I love the pink I'm a huge pink fan so I am excited for all the pinkness and she's wearing the Grenville chandelier earrings and so I just think this was a great form from Catherine I think she looked very very elegant very much like this is her world now which is really really cool because I felt like for a while she kind of struggled to bring at least some of the glamour in some cases. It seemed to be, she did so great with sporty stuff, but sometimes it seemed like it was a bit harder for her to choose something for a, a big event. So I think this is a knock out of the park. I just love it. I think the tiara is great and fabulous. I know a lot of us have been hoping we'll see her in something else. I'm sure we will somewhat soon, but I think for right now, I think she still rocks it. I think it looks great on her. Again, the shape of your head and your face actually does determine whether or not a tiara will look good on you. And I think this instance, again, Catherine, it just works for her. Okay, next was a surprise, a huge surprise. And that was 
Princess Beatrice. So she attended with her husband Edo, and apparently she is good friends with Hussein. And so she wore this needle and thread sequin dress. I love needle and thread. I think it's gorgeous. I love the black accents on this dress. I love the black belt and the bow. I just think that's amazing. The dress does have a belt, but it's mostly just a string of the same color. So I, add, I like that she added that contrast. I think that actually really worked. So to me, I just, I just love that. And then when it came to her banquet dress, I think she looked pretty incredible there. Unfortunately, somebody else had worn the dress that she wore to the banquet at the ceremony. So there's always that possibility, but I think she looked fabulous here. And Charles seriously bring Beatrice into the working royal fold. I think she would do a fabulous job. I think her and her husband were great representatives of the UK, even though they weren't there on an official capacity, they were more there as personal friends. They were invited to the ceremony and I think they just showed they were very, very, seemed very fit for that world. So I think that was great of them again. And I love, love, love her dress. And I love her hair at the banquet. I just think it was a bit, it was almost a bit wild, but it was just beautiful. So I think she's just looked incredible here. Okay, next we will go to Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, one of my favorites. So she wore, re -wore this blue dress here. And I, I like this dress, it's not too bad. Uh, as some people have mentioned, it had a bit of a low cut in front for being in a Muslim country that perhaps wasn't the most diplomatic thing. But I love how Maxima is always so energetic and like expressive when she's talking to people. So I, I do think she looks lovely here. I, I do like the color. I'm just, again, not sure if this was entirely appropriate for the event, but again, she she rocked it. So I gotta give her mad props. And when it came to the evening reception, I do have to say I liked her evening reception dress better. It's something we haven't really seen before. And I, I love the beading, the intricate beading on it. I would love to see somewhat better pictures of it. We got some, but not great. And so I'd love to see who designed it because it does look marvelous. And she wore a lower version of the Stuart tiara, which I saw on Twitter is considered kind of the house tiara because it's the house diamonds without the Stuart. It's not technically the Stuart tiara. So anyways, I just think she looked fabulous, fabulous here. And she's also attending there with her daughter, Princess Katharina Amalia, who will one day, she's the Princess of Orange, will one day be Queen of the Netherlands. And I think, I think the red was, I don't know, I have mixed feelings because I'm not sure if it to this outfit totally worked. Like there's almost a feeling that like I want her hair down or something, something around the upper part of the dress, I don't know if I like. And I think maybe I've seen other older women have a similar neckline to it. So I, th I think it, it pulls down her look a smidge to have that neckline, but it is a beautiful dress. I think she looks lovely. She looks great in the ruby peacock tiara. So I think she looks pretty fabulous. And again, she's just getting used to, the, to all of this, but I think she's doing a good job. But I don't know, there's just something about, I just wish her hair maybe was different. Just not totally liking the hair here. I feel like maybe hair down would have been better in this instance. And again, I don't know, there's a cut, the cut at the top I feel like is a bit matronly. She's going to turn 20 this year, so I think she probably could have done with something a bit a bit better there. But again, the designer who designed this look actually has done a ton of things for particularly Maxima and most of his looks have been fantastic. I just am not sure this was, this was the look for me. <laughs> I know I don't get to pick the looks, but it's just, it didn't quite work, but I give her mad props. She looks amazing and the rubies are great. Dutch truly do have one of the most impressive ruby tiara collections. This is only one of, I believe, at least two that they have. And so I just think she had great taste there. All right, so next we go to Crown Princess Mary, which we honestly didn't get a ton of coverage for her here. Obviously, Roya TV in Jordan was the one that determined a lot of that. So she re-wore this Erdem dress at the ceremony, and it's, it's not bad. I, I think the belt is fine. I think the bow and the hair though, I think she's getting, she's, she's above 50 now. And I think, I think that's not really her age range to wear that anymore. I don't, I don't think that quite worked. So, uh, but she does an epic curtsy. And I think I do like this or dem dress a lot, but I think I could have done without the bow or something different in the hair. So 
yeah, I'm not a fan. And then when it came to banquet dress, this is actually a dress that she's refashioned a couple of times. So I like the, what's hanging over the back of it, I think is really, really pretty and elegant. But at the same time, I, I'm wondering about the one shoulder because I didn't see anybody else with the one shoulder. So I'm wondering if in terms of protocol, is she breached that a bit there? But other than that, it was good. She was wearing the antique ruby and I think it has a bit of diamonds in it tiara that she purchased for herself actually because the Danish tiara collection is, is pretty limited and the queen keeps most of those and so Crown Princess Mary has a ruby and diamond tiara like a very massive one and her sister-in-law has a floral tiara she always wears and then Crown Princess Mary has access to one other so she just and her wedding tiara that they purchased for her which is which is very basic it's not that impressive so I get why she has another one and I think it looks pretty good here and then we also have Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden and her husband Prince Daniel <laughs> Victoria does so many florals. I wish she would do something better. And honestly, I just don't think florals fit her. She needs to, her hair is always so severe and then she'll have these really soft dresses. And I just feel like the hair needs to match the dress a bit more. Maybe she can do an updo maybe and make it just a bit softer in some way, but it's always so severe. And honestly, I j again, I just don't think it works that well. I really don't, I feel like this, dress too in the bust area doesn't quite fit it just looks a smidge tight and she's in fabulous shape i think but i'm just i just don't really care for this i feel like we see her in floral all the time i'd love to see her in more solid colors we did get a solid color for the reception so she wore this bright pink dress and she has an order a royal order from jordan and so she matched some of her accessories like so her earrings have emeralds her brooch has an emerald so kind of matching the green and pink that could be a bit garish some people could say i liked it i think it worked and then she wore the floral wreath tiara that she got from her great aunt lillian and I, i've never been a huge fan of this tiara but i appreciate that it's, it's very sentimental to her and the family they are very very close to princess lillian uh she passed away she had to wait actually years and years to marry her husband so it's something where she was just very very close to the family so i think they were pretty devastated when she passed away but victoria i think again i think the bright colors really really work for her and the swedes man their tiara collection is is top notch just like the the Dutch. The Dutch probably have the best tiara collection, number two. Okay, so the next arrival we have here, and so this is going again, ceremony look and the banquet look, we have Princess Elizabeth of the Belgians. And so she was there rep with her father, King Philippe, and her mother, Queen Matilda, was back in Belgium. And I love the flow of her dress. I think it's very flowy, especially as she's walking up the steps. It's got beautiful movement to it. So I think it's a very, very elegant look. She wore some great statement earrings here. And so I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. I love the bright color. I think, especially in a place like Jordan, I think that really, really worked. She was actually just in Egypt not too long ago with her mother on a royal tour. And so for her second rather bigger royal event, because she went to the coronation of King Charles. This was, again, her slowly stepping into the role that she will one day inhabit, which is that of Queen of the Belgians. So I, again, I'm a really big fan of this look. I really do like it. Perhaps maybe a, a, a something different with the belt, I think could have been cool. But other than that, again, great look, especially for the environment that they were in. It felt very deserty. So again, mad props. And for her banquet look, she went with a bright blue Armani Privé dress. I believe she had this somewhat custom design from a style that was a different color. I think it was more of a gray. I gotta say, I'm not really a big fan of this. She wore a tiara that they purchased for her because the Belgians are kind of weak when it comes to having a big tiara collection. So she looks great in the tiara. I'm just not loving the dress. The top actually reminds me a bit of a figure skating outfit. So yeah, I don't, I don't think it totally works. And I think some of that definitely has to do with the color. If it was a more muted color, you could see past it, but the bright blue really screams figure skating outfit. I'm just not loving the dress. I gotta say, sorry for those of you who are, but this was a bit of a thumbs down for me. Okay, and so for some more minor royals that we saw here, we saw Heredity Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein, 
And so she was there with her husband and I think she looks great at both events. Again, pretty simple. She wore a navy lace dress for the ceremony. And then for the re evening reception, she wore this floral print dress. And so I think she pulled it off very well. She looks very elegant. And so we don't see the Liechtenstein Royals out too much at events, but I think she seems rather tall. So I think that she carries that elegance very well. And so I think she looks pretty, pretty fantastic. So I got to give her props there. I think it worked. I think it was definitely a very interesting look here. And then we also have the, the queen of Bhutan and I, she was arriving with her sister-in-law and I think both the ladies look lovely here. I love that they go with their traditional looks at most events. Uh, we have seen her at private functions where she wears a more Western style, but I like that she goes classic here and I like both of the looks. I can't say too much, um, but I think they're great. And for their evening reception looks, they both wore pink and I just think it's lovely. I think the tiara is very understated. So I think they just looked great there. All right, next Royal we'll talk about briefly is Sheikh Samaza, who is the wife of the former Emir and the mother of the current Emir of Qatar. She is well known for her dramatic style and she looks rather fabulous here in a vintage Valentino coat. She is known for being insanely elegant, dramatic, and just a fabulous dresser, and I think she showed it here. And then she went with neon green for the reception, and she pulled it off. You you, you can say a lot of things, but she, guys, she really, really pulled that off, that neon green. It's, it's bright, and she has a head wrap on too, and it wraps over her head, but I think she looks fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So it's just fun to see somebody who is, again, that well known. And then a couple of people we have left here. We have Princess Amon and Princess Salam. So they are the sisters of the crown prince. I love Amon's dress at the wedding ceremony. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's super elegant. She just got married herself and I think she is still riding on that elegance that she got from the initial, the initial wedding. So I think, it, oh gosh, it's, it's just beautiful looking. I really love Salam's dress. I'm not as big a fan of, I, I don't quite like it, but I really love Iman's. And so during the reception, uh, I wasn't as much of a fan of Iman's dress. It just looks very, very, I should say banquet. The banquet dress looks very fussy to me. I don't, I don't really care for it, but she looks lovely in her wedding tiara and her husband just looks so happy. He's like smiling all the time. It's, it's kind of adorable. And her sister wore princess Salam wore a turquoise dress to the ceremony and then a sequin dark purple dress for the for the banquet, which I think is great. And she wore her mother's small bracelet tiara. And I, I just think it looks great. It looks good. Not too much to say about it. Could be needle and thread maybe. No, probably not. But again, it's a good, good look. Now I have to say one dishonorable mention here real quick is Nancy Pelosi. She looks like this is not being political. This is just an opinion on fashion. She looks like the, the print on this dress looks like she's going to a cruise nightclub or dance party or something. That's what that print looks like to me. I don't know. It would have been so much better in a solid color rather than this kind of print that maybe to me looks like tropical paradise style print. We also had briefly, uh, Ivanka Trump attended as well. She attended in this gorgeous blue dress, which I think did look really, really fabulous on her. And I think she pulled that off elegantly. And I thought I saw her in a picture talking to William and I was like, oh man, I did, I did. And I should have posted on Twitter earlier. Cause also who was there, Carol Middleton, Pippa Middleton and Pippa's husband, James. And I was one of the first people to post about it. And initially Daily Mail did not give me credit, but they did, they did adjust that. So I, I feel happy about that now. And then we, we did have the Japanese print Princesses. So this is the, I believe her, the former emperor was her brother. And I think they both, the, both of the ladies look lovely. And so I think they, they represented their country very, very well here. So Japan, Japan is rather interesting because if you marry a man who is not part of their, what they consider their aristocracy, their royalty, you lose your title. So obviously the sister did because it's mother and daughter, but daughter has a big challenge ahead is does she find somebody within the very, very few remaining royals that are there in the country so that she can retain her title or does she marry for love? That is a huge question I'm sure facing her and a very, very big challenge because once you leave the Japanese royal family, you don't really get back in. So, <laughs> 
you, you're as a woman, you're basically sort of kicked out. You, I, I think you can go back and visit your family, but you have like no court functions. You're never really invited to any big things. So Megan has nothing to complain about when it comes to the British Royals because they are much more generous to her than the Japanese would ever be. All right. So when it comes to best dressed looks of the day. I really had to be a surprise and I had to give it to Princess Beatrice. She wore, and I forgot to mention, the York TR, which belonged to her mother. We haven't seen that in probably 20, 25 years. It's been a very, very long time. She looked fabulous in it. Again, Charles should add her and her husband to the roster of working royals. I think she looked great. I love the needle and thread dress. I have two of them. I need to lose some weight so I can fit into them, but they are beautiful pieces. I love, love, love their dresses. I think Beatrice, I think she overall for me was the best dress of everyone. And I just really, really enjoyed seeing her looks. I did absolutely love Catherine's Jenny Packham dress. Not saying that I didn't, but sometimes you got to give it to the people who surprise you. And I think in this instance, since Beatrice was a wonderful, marvelous, and amazing surprise. So guys, let me know what you think of this video. Who was your favorite dress? And what did you think of the bride's wedding dresses? I'd love to get your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.